Number 20. Verify that the critical angle for light going from water to air is 48.6 degrees, as discussed at the end of example 25.4 regarding the... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. So what, what we need to know, all right? Anytime they're talking about critical angle, what they're doing is they're talking about an angle in which the uh, angle of refraction is 90 degrees, all right? So pretend you have a boundary here. Pretend, as they're saying in the problem, there's water above the boundary. It doesn't really matter. You might say, how is it floating over air? It, do it doesn't matter. All right. Um, flip it around if you want. Uh, it says that the, um, the critical angle, all right, the critical angle here then is an angle, all right, is an angle of incidence. I'll call it theta sub c for a critical angle. In which case, the internal refraction, the the uh, refracted ray now, totally now is 90 degrees. In other words, the light ray now does not enter the second medium. And the second medium down here, we'll call it air, okay? Air. So this angle here, remember, the angles are always in reference to that normal, okay? That's 90 degrees. So if I know, and this is, by the way, the kind of the definition of critical angle, all right? The critical angle is the angle of incidence that will cause the refracted ray, all right, to refract to 90 degrees. So here N is going to be, uh, in water, it's about 1.333. And in air, right, what is it? It's about one. Let's just assume it's about one. Uh, well, that's a zero. Let's assume it's about one. So how do we then find this theta? And you can call this theta sub one if you want. It doesn't matter, right? Theta sub one times the sine of theta sub one, we're using Snell's law, theta sub two. Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't even know. What am I doing? N sub one, the index of refraction, okay? For the incident ray multiplied by the sine of the incident angle will equal the index of refraction for the refracted ray multiplied by the sine of the angle of refraction, okay? Now, this was water, so it's 1.333. We're trying to solve for the theta, right? The incident angle, which is known as the critical angle here, because we know that the angle of refraction here is gonna be 90 degrees. So air is about one times the sine then of theta two. Remember theta two in here is 90 degrees. Now here, just think about this for a second. Um, but what's the sine of 90? The sine of 90 is just one, okay? So watch what's going to happen to this formula. Watch the sine of theta, the sine of 90 is one, so that just cancels. So now if I had to solve this for theta uh, one, which is known as the critical angle, you would have divided out the index of refraction of the uh, incident ray, and then you would have had to have taken the inverse sine, right, of both sides. Okay. So what that would have left you with, let me just move this on over to that side. What you would have been left with was then is theta one will be equal to the inverse sine of N two over N one. This is by the way, a formula for critical angle. Okay. You can get rid of the one there and you can put your little C down there now if you want it. Okay. This is how it will always work out. Why? Well, because the definition of critical angle is the angle that will give a 90 degree refracted ray. Okay. So that's how that is accomplished. Now, Solving it over here, right, is basically going to be then, you can do the algebra on out, but it's basically going to be that theta one will equal then the inverse sine of one over 1.333, okay? And let's do it in the calculator, make sure it's in degree mode. So one divided by 1.333, we get about 48.6, wowzers, 48.6 degrees. And that's what they said to verify, right? Well, we just verified it, all right? Um, so that's really it. I mean, that's what it's all about, all right? So you can use this formula if you like. Um, you can derive it every single time. It does not matter. Uh, but if you notice, um, there's an important relationship about the, the idea behind N2 and N1. All right, N2 here must be uh, less than N1 in order for this to work. Otherwise, there is no total internal reflection. Keep that in mind.
All right. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.